show. I just put that bitch in the bag to let the speakers blow. JP got that audio, so 18s ain't hard. What's up, y'all? JP's audio here, and uh, this is the night version of a video I'm about to do. I'm about to do a little quick install, and uh, this is gonna be how to install a in dash screen in a 2010 Dodge Charger. One thing you guys are gonna have to need is these little tools right here. It's just a prior part, this little dash piece, and I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna do that real quick. And you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. First thing you want to do is take these two wedges, put it in each side of here, and then pop these little clips out. Last name on the trunk, seven one don't. Pop out just like that. Just like that. After you popped all that out, you want to come behind here. It's going to be a harness shot that has this one up top. It's right behind the vent right here. It's for your emergency lights and all that. And then you want to disconnect. You got uh, three. Uh, air conditioner vents, oh, your, your AC unit, disconnect those harnesses. Now that we got that to the side, what you want to do is uh, get your Phillips head screwdriver and take these four screws out. Take your Phillips and just... Damn all that. That's why I bought a drill. I bought a drill for this reason. Damn all that. A Phillips head will work, but a drill better. Backyard, something like a paint booth. my damn truck. Say these screws on the toys for leaving them somewhere. Losing them. Suit, got bars alongside my aim train. Remove your CD player. My bank account's never empty. Simply put, I can't get As you can see, uh, this right here is the this little white piece on the side. That's for the antenna. So if you're doing an aftermarket, you will need an antenna adapter. And just go ahead and take these four off like so I mean like so now a very important thing you guys have to know when you guys are hooking up a stereo system you always disconnect the negative on the battery so I got my ratchet set I'm about to go show y'all where the battery is on a 2010 Dodge Charger so we disconnect the negative that way we don't short anything out on your 2010 Dodge Chargers, what you guys want to do is go to the back, pull that up, the little panel, or whatever, and that's what you need right there. And I'm about to take my socket and uh, take this negative off real quick. This is in the trunk by the spare tip. This right here does take your standard 10 millimeter uh, ratchet. You see how all the stuff just cut off in the car? Now I got the harness right here all nice and neat, zip tied up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and connect that to the uh, aftermarket harness. I mean the, the factory. Alright y'all, we got the harness hooked up together. The uh, antenna adapter's in. I'm about to go ahead and uh, fit it back in place right here in the heart in the spot. Close that little latch, everything's flush. Come back in here, got your CD player all nice and flush right there. We got one more screw to put in right there. Got all the other ones back in, about to drill that back in right now. One thing I like to do, one thing I like to do when you in this stage right here, before you fully assemble everything, go ahead, turn the car on and try it out once to make sure everything works. So uh, let me put the, the detachable piece on real quick. Right. 
bet I pull up in something brand new next year. I might buy a franchise or rent a Lambo. Either way, okay, I take the whole thing to Orlando. Watch on my wrist, though. My other one black match with my heat hat. Ask where my heat at. Miami in my backpack plus two stacks. When they ask who, tell them first, fill a green back. Kick, clack. Who's that? Be prompt. If they ask who, tell them first, and it's your arm back. Kick, clack. Who's that? Alright, works fine. Turn the car off. Make sure it shuts off when the car goes off. Now we can reassemble the dash. First thing you want to do is go ahead and take your air conditioner vent harness it. Hook those back up into place. Uh, these two are the only two that I was actually able to get off. The other one was hard as shit. So, uh, you know, as so I just put it to the side, we'll just go ahead. Uh, like, see, put those right back in. The one that I was telling about earlier, your emergency light harness hooks up right. Nah, I just know y'all can't see that. Right, right here. All right, y'all. Now that we got all that done, the CD player comes on real good. Go ahead, pop that thing back into place. Hold on. Nice flush fit. Take the keys, put it in there one more time. I'll turn the car on and off about three, four times just to make sure stuff go, go, go on and you know what I'm saying, be right. But yeah, we're gonna take the key one more time. Turn it on. It should automatically pop up if I'm not mistaken. Oh, never mind. Press the open button. Ain't nothing to it. Make sure everything opens up correctly and nice. Real smooth. Go to your little functions, make sure everything cool, copacetic. Yeah. Turn off the key. You can close it, but I like to turn it off to make sure that it, you know what I'm saying, goes off like it's supposed to. We recommend y'all get these. But uh, JP's Audio, baby, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe, add, do all that good stuff. High level. And this is on Slim. JP's Audio, baby, sub my channel. I still got skills, my 